Hey guys, let me show you something here. I got to straighten out my steering wheel. You'll notice on a Jeep, it'll get a little cockeyed or sometimes really bad. And I'll show you a real quick fix. I'm hoping I haven't checked the bolt on the rod I got to, you know, on the bar that I have to loosen. Hopefully they come undone pretty easily. But let me show you the steering wheel. And one thing, let me show you this on how to make sure your wheels are straight. All right, so I pulled in and out of the driveway a couple times just to line up, make sure that your front tire is in line with your back tire. Make sure it's as straight as possible, which mine look pretty dang good right there. So we're gonna call that good. Let me show you the steering wheel. I could probably leave it rolling. All right, it's not far off. If you're looking, it is just cockeyed a little bit. So number one thing you gotta do right off the bat is get your key, unlock your steering wheel, put it in click it to auxiliary so that way it will turn and when you're trying to adjust it it's not bound up you know in the lock position so first thing you got to do unlock your steering wheel all right guys so this is the steering box that's pitman arm comes out of your steering box goes to here these are the two bolts one here one there this sleeve's got to turn do not do this one down here that is your tie rod that is going to throw your tire outwards or inwards that's gonna mess you up bad do not do that one it's the two that are up there it's a 15 millimeter um it was not too bad and i'm going to grab it with my channels to see if that'll work i'm not sure if i could turn it with channels or i'll need a pipe wrench you can see somebody's already got a hold of it and pulled on it i believe also pulling downwards will turn the steering wheel clockwise Pushing upwards will turn it counterclockwise. So we're going to turn it a half a turn, then go inside and see what it looks like. Hold on. Alrighty, I did one full turn. Let's go check, see what the steering wheel looks like. Let me see if that's the right direction. Okay, pulling down is obviously the wrong direction. We got to go probably to one full turn back and then another full turn. So coming down is counterclockwise. Pushing up is um, clockwise. There's the one where I started. Yeah, let's go this way. See what this does. I'd like them bolts to be in a different place, but that ain't happening. All right, let's go check that again. This is where it helps to have helper um, watching it, and then it'd be a lot quicker. But that's all right. It still can be done by yourself. All righty, we went past the point, so I got to come back a little bit. I'm going to do probably a quarter turn and see where that brings me. Alrighty guys, there you go. That's about as close. I mean, it's got a little bit of play in it, so depending on where you're at. But that, that's pretty damn good, and it's free. I mean, like I showed you, it is simple to do, um, you know, with minimal problems, unless those bolts are really pain. Then I'd hit them with some PB Blaster, let them sit a day or half a day, and then get them loose. Hopefully that helped you, and you could see that is simple to do. Don't pay somebody to, you know, do that. Grab a girlfriend, a wife, or a friend and crawl underneath there and turn that little guy like I showed you, and you're all set. Talk to you later.